Hello everyone, welcome to another session for Know Your Exam series from Shomus Biology. And in this all session of videos, we are going to talk about different exams which are important for your career. And we are talking about the exams date and obviously other important information regarding the exam with the exam pattern. As well as at the end, I always provide exam preparation tips. So stay tuned and watch the video. <laughs> Okay, uh, now we're talking about the Get Life Sciences. Uh, we've been talking about uh, the Know Your Exam series in different exams in life science field. We've talked about the Get Biotechnology, but now we're talking about the Get Life Sciences. Now, what is the difference between Get Life Sciences and Get Biotechnology? It contains a little part of mathematics and the numerical reasoning and aptitude where the Get Life Sciences carry only life science subject and general science. That's the only difference between Get Biotech and Get Life Sciences. Now, Get Biotech is preferred by the biotechnology students and mm, other students from BTech backgrounds, but Get Life Sciences uh, is much preferred by the general BSc and MSc, especially the, uh, the MSc students of the general discipline of life sciences. That's the difference. Get uh, Life Sciences is conducted by again uh, IIT. Now, which IIT will conduct the exam? It's not known because it is varying with the seven separate IITs. They conduct the exam in different years. So uh, while the, the notification will come because the exam will be conducted in, during February so whenever the notification will come they will explain which IIT is going to conduct the exam that year because you know uh, not a single IIT is allowed to conduct this exam consecutively second times. So if last year Delhi conducted the exam so this time maybe someone else but not Delhi will conduct that exam. So get life science is an exam that will allow you to pursue the M MSc and MTEC uh, actually uh, in IITs and actually it's a door for a person to conduct their career in IIT so if it's your dream then obviously you go for Get Life Sciences and also Get Life Sciences is another important thing because with the help of the ranking and score of Get you may apply with that score to different institutes uh, for PhD entrance exam as well uh, or for PhDs as well or even directly into the IITs to do PhD as well. The eligibility criteria states that you may be from B, B Tech, B Farm, B Architecture, BSc or BSc equivalents or MSc, MA, M Tech equivalent. So from these uh, places you can uh, go for Get Life Sciences. It doesn't matter whether you're from a bachelor's or master's, you can always attain Get Life Sciences exam. And uh, normally for all these different places you need to score 55% marks during your academic career. Okay, but while they will be, they, they will also, although they don't require any much score for plus two level, but also after qualifying the exam and you're applying for IITs, they'll also check the plus two score. So if you don't have a plus two score of 60% or 65% above, then probably you will get rejected later. The total marks for this exam is 100 and the time is 180 minutes, that is three hours. 100 marks, three hours, that means the questions will be lengthier and you need to uh, put a lot of thought to answer those questions and that is true and this test is computerized so it's online test like online mock test uh, and uh, the virtual calculator will be provided uh, for the calculations because there will be a lot of calculation based questions although the calculation based questions are more in gate biotech but in life sciences uh, of gate there is a place for numericals marking scheme the marking scheme for Get Life Sciences is exactly the same, uh, mostly the same like the Get uh, Biotechnology, where there will be 65 questions in total. 15% of the marks will be from general aptitude and 85% of the marks will be from your subject that you are applying for. So normally for life sciences, there are two subjects that people can apply for. One is the biochemistry uh, and obviously another one is the biotechnology. So person is applying for biochemistry, the questions, uh, the subjective paper will be mostly from biochemistry and molecular biology, cell biology. And the other one which is from biotechnology, it will be more application based questions in terms of cell molecular biology as well as the industrial biotechnology. And uh, in this part of the question papers, there are three types of question marks that are there. Mark 1 question, Mark 2 and Mark 4. Although in this case Mark 1 and 2 questions are there and the negative marking for every one mark question is one out of three so one third 
and the negative marking for a uh, two marks question is two third that's the negative marking scores the cutoff for uh, gate life sciences is not that high it makes us think like most of the people fail in gate life sciences uh, to qualify due to a uh, lot of negative markings mostly but the cutoff is approximately 32 for general 28 for obc and for scst is approximately 20 to 22 so you can see among 100 if you score 32 you are qualified for get life sciences so it's so easy in terms of the so the question papers are a little difficult and the thing is you know you'll get three hours to answer 100 questions so among 100 questions if you answer 31 marks question correctly you are eligible to qualify you are qualifying the get life sciences that's how easy this exam is compared to the other exams like get biotechnology is little difficult because the competition is little higher or else uh, the other exam which is CSR UGC net which is also competitively difficult because that exam also carries a lot of weightage and the competition is huge and the cutoff marks is also huge 55 to 60 percent probably the the highest among the all life sciences exam uh, competitive exams out there uh, but this cutoff of gate life sciences is super easy number of seats number of seats for gate life sciences uh, is variable it's not fixed because you know this exam is not uh, like a uh, what we can say it's not like uh, entering into a graduation or post graduation it depends on solely uh, the number of ranking system that they have and actually they rank a lot of uh, individuals based on like 2000 3000 4000 people also get rank of that huge length but actually uh, to be honest to get a good rank in gate life sciences you need to have a good score below 300 that will be beneficial for you if you're applying for a phd although if you're applying for a phd with only gate life science score they will also ask you for net score especially net lectureship if, even if you haven't qualified net jrf but they will ask you for net lectureship so with net lectureship as well as gate score below 300 you will be eligible for applying in most of the institutes and uh, you can all or directly go for interview and if you qualify you can join their lab as a research scholar or else if you are going to apply for iits you also need to uh, go for a written exam then another round of interview but in that case gate score will act as a eligibility criteria eligibility barrier the difficulty of gate life sciences is average uh, because you know the competition is average there are almost like 40,000, 50,000 people applying maximum at a year for Get Life Sciences. Uh, but uh, the difficult part is, you know, the management and understanding the subject very well. That's the problem. That's why most of the people fail to qualify this exam. Exam fees is 1500 for male candidates living in India and 750 for female candidates and SCST and PWD living in India. And someone uh, from outside of the India will be charged 50 USD extra so the charge will be like 90 USD in total or approximately 5000 in total qualifying rate for gate life sciences is approximately 15 to 16 uh, percent which is not that good we, the statistic doesn't sound good and uh, like among 100 people 15 qualifies now the question is uh, that will bring us to the point of the tips uh, that I'm going to share with you that why 15 out of 100 is qualifying if the exam is easy and you only need to score 34, 35 out of 100. Uh, the difficulty here is proper management and understanding of the question. That's the most difficult part about Gate Life Sciences. Because you know, to attend any different exam, you need to know about that exam. That's why I'm, I'm making this video and sharing with you because most of the people don't have any idea about the exam that they're attending, what kind of question that they ask, what is the uh, exam pattern? What is the question marking scheme, negative marking scheme? They don't know nothing. They just start looking for the exams one month before. And if I ask, like most of the time I get replies from my students and from other places that people are asking for a competitive exam, which is only one month left in hand. So if you are going to prepare only one month in your hand, you will fail in all aspect, whatever it is. Uh, so whatever harsh it may sound but actually you're going to fail because you need five six months for preparation of and it needs serious preparation because if you think you are going to qualify after reading one month then what is the problem of a person who is preparing for one year for that same exam that person should qualify right not you so you need to devote a, a perfect amount of time for the preparation and the difficult part is the gate life sciences is the easy exam so you need to find out the question paper the last few question paper for gate life sciences you will find the last few question papers if you if you uh, search internet and the uh, iit sites because you know in different years different iits conduct the exam so if you find different iit sites you will find 
the different exam and the question papers from there so collect the question paper try to find out what kind of question that they ask and those are the topics that you need to do, read because you know like the gate biotechnology as well as gate life sciences all of these gate exams they ask approximately same questions every year so the question will be from the same region even sometimes the question are approximately the same uh, so this just vary a little bit like uh, if it's a numerical problem they just uh, change the uh, the numbers and rest of the things that they keep same so so if you prepare those things for and that you can easily qualify the exam if you're going there and you know another important thing is that this exam will not be written so it will not take much time for calculations like that this exam will be online based exam so when you are looking at the exam pages when you're looking at the uh, online exam site you are going to answer every single question by clicking that uh, question whether it's a correct option or not so you need to practice a little bit so it's better that you opt for some uh, coaching or opt for some uh, cases of online exams or mock tests to habituate with that idea we also offer mock test online mock test series to to make yourself familiar with the online test and how the tests actually perform uh, so those things you need to do you need to prepare yourself regarding the question types and as well as you need to uh, have a way to finish the questions uh, with, with the desired time that is a, within three hours and another important thing is that there will be 15% to 20% of the question paper will be of general aptitude so you need to prepare general aptitude well and actually you need to write something about the general aptitude it's not like you don't even touch general aptitude go to the subjective directly you need to answer something in the general aptitude it's already prescribed because you know although they haven't mentioned it whether you need to separately qualify in, uh, in general aptitude and separately qualify in the subjective but it's always desirable that you answer general aptitude along with the subjective altogether that's always a good idea if you're strong and good at biochemistry you can opt for biochemistry and if you're better in biotech and from the background of biotech you go for biotech so prepare your basics uh, clear but why, one thing i can tell you that gate life science is far easy compared to the csr ugc net exam so if you're preparing for csr ugc net exam you find yourself the question paper of the gate exam will be a lot easier compared to the csr ugc exam so clear your basics and look at the question pattern the type of question that they're asking and prepare those questions only and directly answer those question and try to practice those questions that will help you uh, to get a good and secure a good rank in gate life sciences even though i've seen people with uh, 2000 rank in gate biotechnology qualifying and going and joining into uh, important uh, and good universities uh, but it, so it depends on uh, different years and the cutoff of, of different years of how the people will join and how the people will uh, take your rank in, in considerations so think there's uh, tips and follow these tips hope uh, these tips will help you uh, to secure a good rank in gate life sciences thank you so if you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel to get more and more self-help education videos like that. And obviously share this video as much as you can to the social network so that other people know about the exam before taking it. Thank you.